Hinkley Point C in Western England, a $24 billion project now with final approval, which the government says will provide 7% of the UK's energy needs for 60 years. China is investing $8 billion in Hinkley, and French energy firm EDF is the major backer. The New Deal means Britain could block the sale of EDF's controlling stake. This is designed to ease concerns over foreign investment into critical infrastructure. We do want to attract uh, overseas investment into this country. It's a vote of confidence uh, in this country that investors uh, are uh, working with us to have this major uh, upgrade uh, of our infrastructure. We welcome that across uh, different sectors. The previous government of David Cameron had been prepared to press ahead earlier with Hinckley. When Theresa May became Prime Minister, she felt the deal needed extra scrutiny. She had to balance concerns about the arrangement with the need for Britain to appear open for business after its vote to leave the European Union, and in particular, open to Chinese investment. That doesn't mean criticism of the project has gone away. Some warn the energy Hinckley ends up producing will be expensive. What the government has done is it has locked us for 30 years into buying the most expensive electricity generated from nuclear power anywhere in the world. We're going to be paying about 30% more than uh, consumers do in the United States. But Hinkley has now got the green light and it could mean further deals in the pipeline. China hopes to use the Hinkley Point design for more future nuclear stations in the UK. Ollie Barrett, CCTV, London.